Hey, the Circle of Hope pastors are here. <laughs> We're doing our someone, someone asked is the name of this series. And, and it's because people ask us questions and we try to answer them. Um, and people, you know what people have been talking about a lot the last few weeks? Gun violence in the United States. So let's frame this discussion around that. And, and, and specifically all over the country, kids are walking out of school. What are they teaching us when they do that? What are they telling us when they do that? Well, I think one thing they're saying is they're tired of being unsafe. And they're sick of uh, kids getting shot. So the they're teaching they're teaching us that we need to take care of them better, and especially when it comes to access to assault weapons. Yeah, they know they're not protected. They know that the grown ups are choosing greed um, and our, you know our attachment to our limitless rights over their protection. Hey, and I think go ahead, Julie. Well, they're teaching us that there's no room for cynicism here. Like they, they're, they're acting. They're saying we have to do something about this and we have to be heard. And a, a lot of the cynicism that we carry as adults about what will change or not change, um, you know, keeps us from, from, from doing what they're doing. Yeah, it's exactly right. Isn't it so hard to dismiss a child who's doing this? You, it's, if you tell a child they're politicizing an event, it's heartless. Creation is groaning, like Paul would mm -hmm. say in Romans that you can hear their palpable cry in pain. You're not taking care of us. You're letting us die. You're supposed to be the grown-ups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I, my, my, my cynicism even moves in behind their lack of cynicism because I'm worried that they're just going to be appropriated, turned into a t-shirt. They're, they're, they're teaching me sincerity. And, 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 and a bit of like, um, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen and that's okay. Uh, like as far as like how the movement is going, we just got to do something. We're going to walk out, stand outside for 17 minutes, get as many people to do it as possible. I don't, they're not, they're not, they're, they're not responsible for how it's all going to like play out. And I feel as a grown up, like, oh yeah, but what, how are we going to make this work? Because I'm so worried that they're going to get crushed into like a little like blip on the news and then it's over. Like, I'm already worried that it, this is just going to get tamped down. Well, and, and it might, but hasn't any, any, anybody trying to do good throughout history, anybody trying to make a movement just like ours um, has been opposed. And so I think, I think we kind of expect that fight and we got to get behind them. Yeah, the forces of evil are strong and we have to keep resisting. So they will market this and shrink it down and make it into clickbait. But the the cry of creation, I think, has to keep going and they get it. Well, I think um, next week we're going to have a big party, too, at Senator Toomey's office where we're demanding a ban, a federal mm -hmm. ban on rapid fire assault weapons. And that is even a debatable thing still. Because the, like Rachel was saying earlier, the, our sense of entitlement to these rights uh, um, or some other kind of fear, um, a kind of lack of community or safety in community, like Johnny mentioned to me earlier, really that becomes more important than the safety of children, particularly. And that, that's going to be a big issue at, um, when we have this fun party. You know, when you go ahead, someone else, I keep talking too much. Well, I was going to say that, you know, I, we sound like we're just like activists or something. <laughs> uh, but like, I, I appreciate like, I appreciate like, I'm thinking about this, like as a movement, because Circle of Hope, like you were saying, Rachel, is like, it's a cell movement. It's a, it's a thing. It's going to be opposed and trying to do something, trying to do anything is mm -hmm. hard. So I, I'm learning that mm -hmm. kind of at a practical level. But of course, I want to do that because Jesus is making something among us and and the movement is the means that that he is using to transform the hearts and minds of people so that they could be grown-ups who care about the common good more than their own individual rights that's the gospel you don't have to be a slave to your own individual wants and desires you can be for someone else you could die for someone else and then go to heaven 
You could be resurrected <laughs> from the dead. Like that, like the, the, it's the basis of all of our action. But I just wanted to say that as emphatically as I have to do. You know, and I will say that their mm. protest is, a, is, 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 is about pain and response to a problem that we all agree to. You know, what the government does with that problem is another matter altogether. They're telling us, you know, wake up. Someone might just destroy their gun because of this. There's a lot of ways that we can go about this. You know, I don't need to uh, arm the government with more power to take away my rights in order to be free from gun violence. That isn't the only solution. There's a lot of ways not to kill people. Um, so if it comes down to the government taking away your assault weapon, well, I guess that's the last resort because you couldn't do it yourself. Yeah, and we will be turning some of those weapons into farming equipment next week. It's going to be fun. Yeah, what are the deets on that again, Joshua? Wednesday, 10 a.m., 4th and Arch, the Friends Meeting House. We're going to march over to 2nd and Chestnut. And um, it's going to be great. The, you know, Anabaptists transforming tools of, um, of force and often tools of death into tools of cultivation of food. Like that passage about turning swords into plowshares, that's where that idea is coming from? Isaiah, yeah. He'll be the prophet Isaiah. So that was a lot of, uh, we, we had a mm -hmm. lot to say about that. So apparently the kids are teaching us a lot um, and I'm inspired by them. So thanks for listening. If you like this, share it um, on social media, ask us more questions. You can even, we found out today, you can like it on YouTube and then make comments on the video. So if that's how <laughs> in you are to this, you can do that. I'm going to comment just to show that I can. All right, take it easy.